Hello Genesis, welcome to the next part in this Soroban series. So till now we have learned how to represent digits on a Soroban and you must know that right now this Soroban is representing a zero and then we learned how to add and subtract numbers on a Soroban and also in between we learned about flash and zan and in learning this our main goal is that we first learn this Soroban and then we can mentally visualize it and then move beads in our head to perform calculations lightning fast. So now let's continue that series. The next thing that we want to learn is multiplication. But before that, I would like to teach you something. A very generous subscriber of Methogenius, who seems to be a top expert in this Soroban thing, pointed out that in the videos, I was not using finger combinations. See, I told you the rule that for moving earth beads, you need to use the thumb and for everything else, we use these fingers. But in the whole last two videos, I did everything one by one, like this, one by one, moving things one by one. But when you get advanced in a Soroban, you can use what they call finger combinations, where you move multiple beads at the same time. Whatever we have learned till now is fundamentally correct. If you just use that, that's also fine. But if you want to increase speed, then you must learn these finger combinations. So let's quickly go through all of them. And then in the next video, we will learn multiplication. Okay, so let us start. It's very simple. See how we were representing one, two, three, like this one, two, three, four, then moving this down, this five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now suppose you want to represent six on this. How would you do it? You will move one earth bead up and one heaven bead down. This is what we were doing and it is correct. But what finger combination tells us that you can do this? Six, like this. And if you want to remove six, do this. So these are known as butterfly combinations, something like a butterfly, okay? So if you want to use combinations to represent number, then you do like this. This is six. Suppose you want to subtract six like this. Suppose you want to do eight, then you do this. Now suppose you want to subtract seven, then you do this. So this is the first combination that you need to learn. Now let's move to the second combination. Suppose this is three and in this road, for example, you want to add five and subtract one. How would you do it? Simply we will do this, right? This is very simple. Now, how would you do this with finger combinations? You would do something simple like this, okay? This movement. Now see here the rule broke. We are using thumb to move a earth bit down. In the general rules, we never did this. So while using finger combinations, this is an exception. Okay. Now here also, if you want to subtract five and add one, what you will do is this. Here, no rule broke. We only used thumb to move our speed up. Okay. So this is the second one where you move both the fingers like this. Okay. Now suppose you want to add five and subtract two like this. You want to subtract five and add three like this. So this is the second finger combination. So this is for five's complement. Now let's move to the next one. Suppose here you wanted to add 10 and subtract three. Normally, how would you do it? See, add 10 and subtract three. As simple as that, you moved 10 with your thumb and this with your index finger. Combination is simply doing this at the same time. See, what you will do is this, like this, a motion like this. Now, if you want to do the opposite, subtract 10 and add three, you do this, the opposite, like this. Here, not doing this or not doing this, we broke any rule. See, add 10 and subtract 3, thumb move this up and index finger move this down. And here also, thumb move this up, index finger move this down. Now, another finger combination is this one. See, you wanted to add 10 and subtract 5. This is also a part of like 10's complement. So, you would do something like this, okay? Like this motion. Here also, no rule broke. And with an option, if you wanted to subtract 10 and add 5, do something like this. Now, can you tell me, suppose you have this, okay? Now, you needed to add 10 and subtract 6. How would you do it? See, use combination here, subtract 6 and add 10, okay? Here, you can use the combination like this. So, in 10's complement, the 6 is also there. So, for the 6, you can use the combination here. And also the opposite also happens if you wanted to subtract 10 and add 6. So subtract 10 and add 6. Do subtraction first. Okay. That is much easier. So for 10 complements, this and this and this and this are the finger combination. The only place where the rule broke is this one where the thumb moved this one down. This is an optional one. Like you can do this if you are like comfortable doing that. 
now in mixed complements you can also use these combinations suppose there is this 8 how would you make it like this okay this motion now suppose you wanted to add 6 to it how would you do it normally you would add 10 and now we need to subtract 4 here but we cannot do it so we will use the 5's complement which is basically the mixed complement so we added 10 and now we need to subtract 4 here we will subtract 5 and add 1 see this motion this is a combination now what is this 14 8 plus 6 is 14 so here we also use this combination at this point another example suppose we have a 6 now you don't make 6 like this okay make it like this instantly a 6 now you wanted to add 8 into it how would you do it add 10 and subtract 2 we can't subtract 2 so subtract 5 and add 3 instantly like this okay so we have 14 again 6 plus 8 is 14 so i hope these are like very intuitive to you like the moves we were doing one after another we are trying to do them together that is basically the whole point of this now the last one suppose this is a 12 okay see for 12 i didn't do anything because this was just one by one okay there you don't use these combinations now suppose you wanted to subtract 7 from it now with combinations how would you do it subtract 10 and add 3 so 12 minus 7 is 5 so like you used combination in this road one another example is suppose you have this 14 and you wanted to subtract 9 so subtract 10 and add 1 to add 1 you need to add 5 and subtract 4 in just one move so the answer is 5 again so these are basically all the combinations that you need to learn to even speed up the soroban calculations and i would highly recommend using them since they make the mental calculations also a lot faster so before ending this video i would like to show you something really cool these really cool wristband rulers and my most favorite one is this one so what are these like you can like simply wear them on your wrist so this one is a time travel band this answers a really fun question that is if you travel back in time how would you tell that you are from the future so like look at this there are some facts that you can tell to the people from the past and it will prove that you are surely from the future so a time travel band but the most useful one is i think this one a basic ruler that you can wear on your wrist all the time to like measure things i really like this one and also there is something another interesting ruler as well this one if you wrap it around something round it will tell you its diameter so yeah really cool things in the latest curiosity box in each curiosity box you also get a cool t-shirt like this one and these rulers also came in this really cool box as well so if you want to get this edition of the curiosity box or any edition which comes in the future scan this qr code or click the link in the description and don't forget to use the coupon code to get 25 percent off of your first really interesting sciencey box so with that let's end this video in the next video we will learn multiplication on a soroban and if you have learned addition well then multiplication is a piece of cake for you so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything